Even once the system's implemented, we do need to change how we analyze things. We perhaps need to reevaluate our chart of accounts or we need to correct transactions. We'll have a look now at how we can create new general ledger accounts and the various ways that we can actually post journals to move transactions around the general ledger. Our overhead costs relating to travel expenses were quite small, so we were just counting them within our miscellaneous expenses part. But now that our sales team are growing, we need to analyse this more. So what I need to do is create a new travel expense general ledger card. I need to tell this record whether it's an income or balance sheet account and what category it sits within. I can then break that down further and I can define my own subcategories to allow me to analyse the transactions. I need to say whether that account receives debits or credits and whether it's a posting account that I can post directly to or will be omitted from default journals or needs to be reconciled for example. Once created, that's instantly updated into our chart of accounts and I can then start posting journals to it. There are a number of different types of journal that can be posted within Business Central. I'm just going to use the general journal and the general journal batch to do these examples, but there are others available. At its simplest and easiest, I can enter a new journal give it a document number and find the account I want to post to, enter my debit and credit values and any dimensional analysis. Dimensions allow me to analyse transactions further. In this case, I only need to tag a department, but I could be tagging a customer group, a type of product, a revenue stream, however I slice and analyse my data. Dimensions are really powerful to allow me to fully analyse information either on records or on transactions within Business Central. I can enter them through the menu, through the line details, or if I've personalised the form and added the department code to my line detail, I can enter it straight as I'm posting the journal. Once I've entered everything and it balances to zero, I can post that journal. The other way that I can enter journal details we'll have a look at in a second, but let's just quickly look at the trial balance and see what that's affected. That report we saw earlier is actually within this menu automatically, so I don't need to add it to my bookmarks, but I can run the report and just show you that that transaction has posted. We saw before that we could paste data into Excel and that we could also output and refresh information into Excel. The other thing we're able to do throughout Business Central, either on static records or on transaction entry, is actually enter data directly in and post it back using that same connector. It authenticates my account as we saw before, and then I can get on and enter the information into a table in Excel. It behaves like any other table, so I can add rows, I can hide columns, and the system will validate and check the information that I am entering is correct before it posts it and before it allows me to effectively publish that data back in. So here's the journal I want to post. We've bought a packing machine and it's made a, um, had a payment come out of our um, checking account. I can publish that journal and it will populate the journal batch for me, which I can then post and update my GL.